Okay, for our next molecule, we have an ion. It's called aluminum tetrachloride. And why would aluminum tetrachloride be an ion in the first place? Well, aluminum only has three valence electrons. So if it's going to form bonds with four chlorines, chlorines have seven valence electrons, so they're looking for single bonds to come up with that eight valence electron. You probably need an additional electron to accomplish that. Let's find out by drawing the Lewis structure and see what we get. Aluminum is going to go in the middle. It's the lowest electronegativity out of aluminum and chlorine, so it's a central atom. So let's put aluminum right here. And we'll have four chlorine atoms like this. And they all will form a single bond, like so. Now remember, aluminum only had three valence electrons, so to come up with a fourth electron to make the bond, it's going to need one additional electron, so it's going to become an ion. So that's what that looks like. Of course, each of the chlorines will have three free electron pairs, like so. Now remember, uh, hmm, even though it, uh, it, it did gain an extra electron, Aluminum has no free electron pairs, just four sets of two electrons making bonds with chlorine, and so therefore it has no free electrons, so the VSEPR structure notation will look like that. One central atom and four atoms on the outside, so this looks like it's going to be a tetrahedron. It's going to be a tetrahedron shape, aluminum in the middle, and the chlorine atoms want to be as far away from one another as possible. So the only way to accomplish that is if, you, if the atoms would form into a plane, the angle between them would only be 90 degrees. That's not enough, so they can sh reform the shape in such a way that you end up with an aluminum at the very center. You end up with three chlorines out like this, and one chlorine at the very top like that. So if you draw the lines connecting these and connecting those like that, and you can see right here you have kind of like a, a three-sided pyramid, and then we have aluminum in the middle of the pyramid, and then you have the base that forms the fourth side, so that's where the name comes from, tetrahedral molecule or tetrahedron. So that would be the shape of that. Uh, and it's, of course, not a molecule per se, it's an ion molecule. So tetrahedron would be the shape. Okay, four appendages, four-sided pyramid, well, three-sided pyramid with a base in a way, and so that's, what, that's the shape of that particular molecule. That's how you do that.